Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. What is this? Oh my god, it's Paz C. Today I've got a very unserious replay for you. Very unserious. That's not even a word. I just made that word up. Or is that a word? I don't actually know. It is a word now, even if it's not. And if it was a word, then I just used it in a brilliant context. Anyway, today we have Tango Victor, or Andy in his... Panzer 1C and what is this T2 light doing? I decided he sent me a bunch of replays the other night because I was on um, for, uh, Discord with him and he said, oh, I've got some replays, send them to me. I was like, yeah, send them to me. You never know, you never know. And I was like, ooh, Panzer 1C replay. Can't, can't miss an opportunity to put up a good Panzer 1C replay there, can we? Every now and again. I think the last time I probably put up a Panzer 1C replay was like my third or fourth video that's still uh, public on this channel. Well, that's unfortunate, Pans 2. So, so far, his team have picked up two kills. Andy has picked up two kills. Or, he's picked up both of his team's kills. And that was on a T2 light at the start of the game, which I have no idea what he was doing. And then a Panzer 2 who was facing the wrong way. He unfortunately leaves the LTV said. 35 on a smidgen of health and then commences to unload on the Panzer C. No, you don't need to t take the hits for MLT. Plenty of damage to go round. <laughs> and yes, this is a Panzer 1C bouncing a lot of rounds. This is why when you're in a Panzer 1C and you're facing another Panzer 1C, if you angle your tank, they cannot pen you, and if their tank is flat, you can pen them. Just bear that in mind if you ever play this thing. I highly recommend anybody who hasn't got one of these, just get one, fully upgrade it, and just laugh. First ever game I played in this tank when it was fully upgraded, I got 8 kills. Just casual. It's, it's, it's so fun and so fast and goes 79 kilometers an hour for god's sakes. And has a machine gun, literally a machine gun, it's 7.62 millimeter, 7.62? 7.62? 7.92, sorry. 7.92 millimeter machine gun is effectively an MG34. And, yeah, you've got the tiniest slither of a shot against a Panzer 1C, but because you fire so many shots, it's lit it's there's no better way of using the phrase throw enough shit at the wall and eventually some of it will stick. Fire enough shots at a target and eventually some of them will hit. And this thing fires a lot of shots. The unfortunate thing about this tank is, obviously because it's AP and because it's only 7.92mm, it loses a lot of penetration at range. So you can't snipe in this thing, and the accuracy obviously isn't that great. Although, again, throw enough shit at the wall and sometimes some of it will stick. Now this is how you play the one hands of 1C. Not give a bloody fuck and just circle even light tanks. I think this this gun has got 40 shots in the magazine. It says it's only got five, but I think it's five times eight. Uh, each one of those shots that you could see is eight shots, and each shell does eight average damage. So it either rolls for eight, seven, or nine, pretty much. I don't know if you can get ten or six rolls. No, I don't. You didn't get any of that. But yeah, and it's just, the rate of fire on it is ridiculous. You can do, I don't know how much damage you can do per clip, and I really can't be bothered to work it out. I th actually, no, I think it's about 250 damage per clip. And it takes about 6 seconds to reload a clip. At tier 3, that is feckin' ridiculous. Although the downside to it is the fact that it only has 33mm penetration, and only 43 on APCR. Which sucks a bit, but, you know, you, you, you can't win them all. Because otherwise... If this, th if this thing had like 50 millimeters of penetration, it would be ridiculously OP. And yeah, I haven't really even been talking about the replay. I've just been talking about the Panzer 1C. Andy's already on nine kills, about to pick up his tenth and win the game, just like that. You know, I need to catch up with these things. I can't, I can't be faffing. Wow, that's quite a cool screenshot. Look at that. That's quite cool. That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Definitely. So look, I'll even do it now while I'm still recording. <gasps> Boom. That's going to be your thumbnail now. So yeah, that was Andy in his Panzer 1C. You cannot argue with the Panzer 1C replay. Pick it up 10 kills. Um, over 1,200 damage, which is like five times the hit points of his vehicle. 
Imagine doing that in a tier. You, that's what you've just got to think. Oh, it's only 1,200 damage. But he did five times the hit points of his vehicle. If you did five times the hit points of your vehicle in an E100, for example, that's like 12,000 damage. Same as tier 10 mediums. That's like 9,000 damage. This is a really, really good game, and I mean, I know it's seal clubbing, and I know you're going to moan at me, oh, but it's tier 3, in it? Look at the teams, they're not exactly like all super unicums, are they? But it's still, you've got to be there, you've got to be decent, and yeah, it's Pans 1C replay, so it's funny. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm not really going to do uh, post-game stats on this game, because it's Pans 1C, and he, he shot some shots, and got 10 kills, and did some damage. Got a high calibre, got a top gun, you can't get pulls of Radley Waltz at tier 3. So he got a pulls, uh, not, he did, I literally just said it, Max. Seriously, man. Get your head screwed on straight. I've got about a two hour recording session, which I'm going to do now. And if I can't speak already, that doesn't bode well, does it? So yeah, 10 kills, just over 1200 damage. He picked up the high calibre and the top gun, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, replay, guys. Just a very quick replay. Um, and, yeah, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and like. Um, and, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.